Okay, uh, this little series of videos is uh, about geometry um, for designers and a lot of people freeze up about geometry um, but this doesn't involve mathematics in any way, um, no sines, cosines or things that people freeze up about. Um, so uh, please don't be worried about it. This particular video is on um, <coughs> divisions. So I'll start off simply by uh, dividing a line in half. I hope I'm not insulting your intelligence by showing you this because I should imagine most people know how to do it. Draw your line, open your um, compasses to something more than halfway, doesn't matter. Strike an arc, top and bottom. And the same from the other end. And then <coughs> join up. This is very useful um, in all situations. Well, not all situations, but many situations. So that is dividing the line up perpendicularly and um, dividing the line in half perpendicularly and it's also creating a 90 degree uh, right angle just there. Now um, let's consider dividing an angle in half. All you have to do is whatever angle it is, I've got a 90 degree angle here so I might as well use that. Um, simply make a mark on each of the arms and uh, compass point there, strike an arc, compass point there, strike an arc and now you have a uh, 45 degree angle when you connect it to the to the middle. If you want to <coughs> subdivide it more then again you take the same distance out from each arm strike two arcs and uh, go in to the center so that's divided it in half again, so it's 22 and a half. And uh, if you want to do it again, yeah. so this will be whatever half of 22 and a half is probably, I would guess, 11 and a quarter. Oh, not very accurate, but sorry, I didn't rule it very accurately. So that's um, dividing a line, dividing an angle, or bisecting a line, dividing an angle. Second thing, dividing a line into whatever number of parts you want. Draw the line first. There's a line. It actually measures, um, because I'm old, I prefer, <laughs> right. um, I prefer inches. So um, that's five inches. And let's say I want to divide that into, um, it, well, it's less than five inches. It's four and uh, seven eighths inches and I want to divide it accurately into let's say six. Well, how do you do that? Um, even if you took it to five, that means it, it's gonna be five sixths of an inch. And I can't get my head around that sort of thing. So all you need is a <coughs> ruler and a set square. So I'm gonna divide this into, um, I need to find six units on the ruler and that comes out a way so let's say three inches is six units three six half inch units I'm going to put the 
one end of my ruler on one end of the line, I'm going to put a set square against the three inches or against whatever six you you know it could be centimeters if I was using a different ruler and I'm going to line them up like that okay now holding the ruler down very tightly slide it along to the first second third fourth, fifth. There we are. So that's divided that up into six absolutely accurately drawn um, parts. And, you know, you don't do it by number because, you know, if you're saying, oh, it's two and a half and a little bit, that's not very accurate. You can't do it that way. <clears throat> this is much more accurate. Now, how do we divide two parallel lines into a given number? Here's two parallel lines. Let's say we want to divide that into, I don't know, four. Take, again, um, The four units. So I'll use half inch again, it just happens to be, but it could be anything. You tilt the ruler until it matches up. One, two, three. And if you've got a set square, you can simply rule, uh, not a set square, a T square, you can simply rule across. If you haven't got a T square, then you simply do it on the other side and then rule across so one two three so there you are that's accurately divided into uh, four very useful I find anyway you may not I don't know but so that's divisions that's the the first one so I'm going on to another tutorial now